Hi, I'm Tyler from Hyde Music in Appleton. Today we're talking about the Electro Harmonics Qtron filter. Uh, before we get too far into the video, make sure you like and subscribe so you can follow us for more. Now, what does this do? Uh, well, the Qtron filter is an envelope filter or envelope filter if you're fancier. And what it does is it provides an Ottawa sort of sound to it. And now what I mean by that is when you hit it softer, it doesn't quite filter over, but if you hit it harder, it does. So you can have a lot of funky, fun sounds. Um, for example, or if you're into Daft Punk, you can make Daft Punk noises. And it's really easy to do. The Qtron filter only has four knobs that make it very easy to dial in with any guitar or amp. The first one is volume. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's the overall volume that you're getting from um, this pedal, the signal and whatnot. The drive is much easier. That's going to be how sensitive it is. So over here, it's going to be much easier to engage that envelope. And when you go back the other way, it's going to be harder. So you're going to have to hit it harder to make the effect happen. Um, the last two are Q, which is the frequency. So that'll tell you where um, in the frequency spectrum you're going to basically enact that uh, wah filter. And then over here, we have the mode. So you have three different ones. Um, you have a low pass, uh, so that's going to be a low pass filter. going to be great for bassier sounds. High pass, which is going to be a lot more high in your face. And then the band pass, which is going to be the whole frequency band that you're going to be uh, hitting that wah with. So the sound that I'm using in the video today is a player strat plugged into the Qtron filter and then into a Vox uh, amplifier. To get the sound that I had from this pedal, um, I have the settings still on here, which make it easier for me, but uh, I have the volume at noon, uh, the drive about one o'clock, um, and then I have it set to the high pass filter, and again, the cue's about at one o'clock as well. So there's two ways that you can plug a Qtron filter into your pedal board, or at least two ways that I do it. Um, you can either do it first in the chain, so basically put it where you would put a wah pedal, or if you want kind of a bigger sweep with the uh, overall wah effect, you can actually put it after all of your drive uh, fuzz, pedals, distortions, all sorts of stuff like that. And it makes it sound just more extreme. So why I like this pedal in particular is because um, sometimes you get into like a long drawn out jam and it's over one chord, so it's really easy. And you just kind of get bored with what the sound is that you have. Uh, so I like to engage this just to kind of give it an extra flavor or just something different, you know. And um, it also helps that it, it makes it sound less of like you're playing a guitar and more like you're playing some sort of synther effect. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow us for more fun videos.